Hello everyone, it's Michelle Lupton here with another card for Case Me a Christmas card. And today my guest is Laura Basson, or otherwise known as Laura Fedora. All right, so let's get started on today's card. I'll show you Laura's card that I'm casing a little bit into this video. So I started off today with a panel of white cardstock. And I'm basically going to completely cover this piece of cardstock with Paper Glitz Sparkle. So this is a product from Picket Fence Studios and it gives a lovely shine. There's lots and lots of different ways to use it um, and I'm actually going to be using it in two separate ways today. It has heaps and heaps of mica in it, this gorgeous shimmer and shine that you get from it. So I'm just adding, I've actually added too much. I'm going to be um, putting a lot of this back into the container, um, but I added heaps and heaps to make it a little bit easier to spread all over this cardstock. Now this cardstock I'm actually going to be using later in the card, so I need to let it um, uh, dry. So I'm just going to be using my stencil pal just to make it a little bit easier to smooth it out all over this piece of cardstock. And I'll be able to keep this piece of um, cardstock for various different projects. I always have one on the run um, that I use, but I actually finished one just yesterday, just the day before that I, uh, I recorded this video. So I'm making a new one. All right, so there we go. It's not going to take a huge amount of time to dry, so you don't need to leave it overnight or anything. Um, but in the meantime, while I'm letting that dry, I'm going to be using this stencil from Simon Says Stamp. This is the Mod Layering Leaves stencil. And Laura actually used the exact same stencil in her um, card that I'm casing today. Now, I already had some um, pixie spray on the back of this stencil from the last time that I used it, so I didn't really need to add any extra. Um, there was enough stick left on it for my purposes. And now I'm grabbing out four different Distress Oxide inks. So I've got Salvage Patina, Peacock Feathers, Salty Ocean, and my favourite, which is Prize Ribbon. All right, so I'm going to be using my life-changing blender brushes here, and I'm going to be creating um, a bit of an ombre um, look here. Again, Laura also used um, an ombre of um, colour over the stencil, um, but I've chosen slightly different colours. So her ombre went from blue to a very um, sort of lime green colour, whereas I'm going to this quite blue green. This salvage patina is a very um, sort of aqua green colour. Now I am making this quite intense colour. So you can see that I'm holding my life-changing blender brush um, by the head. Um, I find that it's a lot easier to control how much ink you lay down using these blender brushes um, if you hold the head when you want lots and lots of colour. And I generally hold it a little bit further back um, on the handle if I want a very light application, if I just want a really, really soft colour. All right, so just finishing off with this blending um, and then I'm going to just quickly reveal um, the stencil, or remove the stencil and reveal what's underneath. It's so gorgeous. So this is the card of Laura's that I am casing today. And you can see she's actually got the stencil with similar colours, but not the same. Still blue greens, but they're much paler than what I used. She also has a layered die for the sentiment, the hugs die. She also has some glitter that she's added some glitter gel I think um, for the extra detail on the second stencil and she's added a few little dew drops as well so I'm using some of those um, features but not all um, so I'm just going to dry off this um, panel before I move on to the next step so again I have the second part of the stencil and I've added some pixie spray to the back of it and just trying to line it up really well um, here. I'm not doing very well. Um, 
I do have pixie spray on the back of it for a particular reason rather than just taping it with some masking tape or some washi tape I'm using pixie spray and I'm pushing it down with my Teflon bone folder to make sure it is really well adhered because I'm going to be adding some more of this paper glitz sparkle from pick a fence I do find that when I add paper glitz or paper glaze over a stencil I get much cleaner results if I adhere that stencil down with some pixie spray. It just helps prevent um, the medium sort of leaking underneath the stencil and sort of muddying up your lines. Um, and yeah, when I use the pixie spray, it always comes out really nice and clean and neat, which is the look I was going for here. So I'm just making sure that I've got all of those little spots. You don't really need very much of this product at all. Um, so I'm just scraping the rest back into my container. You can see what I've done is I've got a piece of press and seal over the top of my container and I make sure that I clean it off really well um, before I put it away just to stop the lid um, sticking to it. And here's the second big reveal and you can see that gorgeous shine that you get from that paper glitz sparkle. All right, now I'm going to be going back to the first piece of cardstock that I started with, which I had covered with Paper Glitz Sparkle. I've left it to dry completely, and now I'm taking the Big Joy metal die from Paper Rose, and I'm going to be cutting that out. I also cut out two more layers of that word joy with white cardstock. This is all the white cardstock that I'm using is um, Nina um, Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound. So nice and thick and sturdy, but I'm layering up these die cuts to make them extra super duper sturdy to add to my card. <clears throat> so I won't bore you with all of those laying, layerings. Um, I'll just skip to the very, very last one relatively easy to do if you use liquid glue because you have a little bit of wiggle time um, to make sure that you've got those um, letters all lined up perfectly. All right, so now they're ready to go. So to finish off the sentiment, I decided to use a sentiment that I've actually pre-done. So it's like a cooking show. Here's one I prepared earlier. This is actually the Simple Strips Christmas uh, stamp from Tailored Expressions and what it is is a single um, red rubber stamp that a foam backed stamp that you can stamp a whole lot of sentiments all at once and I stamped them in Versamark onto navy blue cardstock and then white embossed them and then there's a matching die that you cut all the sentiments out at once so I've done this a few times and I'm keeping all of these sentiments in a little baggy so when I need a Christmas sentiment super quick I can just go and grab one so um, I've actually already made this card once. You saw the first card that I made right at the beginning of the video. Um, and I'm making a second one, so I'm using a slightly different sentiment with this one. You would have seen me using a little um, craft knife on it because there were a few little spots of white embossing where I didn't want it. So I just used that craft knife to just clean up those few little um, bits of embossing. I obviously hadn't used my powder tool well enough when I made those sentiment strips. All right, so I've cut my panel down to fit onto a pretty standard size white um, card base. And I've left a little border around the edge. I quite often leave a little border around the edge. And I'm just going to place my letters. I'm going to be putting them vertically. So that's a difference between my card and um, Laura's card. Of course, the actual sentiment itself is different. I'm also putting some foam dots onto this um, sentiment banner. Um, these are um, Stampin' Dimensionals from Stampin' Up! And that'll allow it to sit nice and flush with the top of that um, O in the word joy. 
All right, so once I've removed all of those little backing sheets, I can stick that down and that's my card done for today. So thank you very much for watching. I'm just going to give you a bit of a close up to see all the shine on this card, on the sentiment and also in the background panel. Thank you so much for uh, to Laura for being my guest today and for providing such amazing inspiration for me. Here are the two cards together with slightly different sentiment, but mostly the same. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you back again next time. Bye.